G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We are back in our Anywhere, Anytime series, coming into day 64. We are edging ever closer to day 70, when everything will come to one big climax to hopefully leave everybody satisfied. But in the meantime, I have some things that I need to do. Namely, I need to make sure that my base is up to par. We've seen what kind of awfulness happens in wandering whores. Now, the whores that show up are terrible with behemoths and rads and giant zombies and all sorts of bad things knocking down my door. So I need to make sure that what I do have at my house is up to scratch. There's no use building myself a home here if one uh, behemoth is going to show up and turtle into matchwood anyway. So there are some things that I have to do. And the first thing is to run downstairs because I have been a busy boy. There should be some more gubs in here for me. Grab you. I've built those in the wrong order, but eventually I'll have more coal gun stuff to make. But in here, I have a bunch more M4s, which means I can upgrade my current M4, take all the mods back out of you, up to the mythical, as the morning chimes, the mythical, the mystical tier 80. There we go. One whole tier 71 M4. Just get that tier, uh, tier 80. May not seem worthwhile, but to me, absolutely is. Give me you. And can I compare the two, actually? So what do you do? You do 81 compared to 84. So, I mean, a couple of bits of extra damage. I'm not going to complain at all. Plus, it has more effective range as well. So, can kick a zombie in the dick from a little bit further away. That's worthwhile to me. Give me all of that. And an extra mod slot as well. Not gonna say no. Not gonna bloody say no to that, am I? I already have a magazine extender on there, but there's a better one, I'm pretty sure, in one of the classes. Advanced magazine extender. I need Master Hunter, which I'm not anywhere close to, I don't think. That also gives me stealthy boys. What do you give me? Extended uh, magazine mod, sniper rifle, titanium knives, crossbow, and ammo recipes. Uh, increased crafting tier by 10 for rifles and bows. So that's my... Coil Sniper, increased range and uh, duration of your tracking ability. That's completely worthless, but that uh, advanced extended magazine could actually be worthwhile. It will turn both my Coil Rifle and my M4 into effectively M60s. Yes, the M60 would be even bigger again, but the reload time on the M60 just makes it not really worthwhile. I made one the other day, and uh, yeah, nah, I'll rather stick with the M4 because it hasn't let me down yet. I already feel, I still feel bad about betraying the Bayball bat way back when, so betraying the M4 just isn't really in the stars for me right now. So the only mod I kind of have left to chuck into you is, I guess, the flashlight mod? I mean, all the other spots are taken. I don't want to use the red dot sight, so the reflex sight, because I just don't like it on the M4. The front post is enough for me. Chuck it into there. You're now spitting 107 damage out of your muzzle. Ooh, that gets me a little bit tingly. It's going to tickle some zombies as well. Actually, stop taking these things. You guys just hang out in there for a bit. I'll come back for you later on. There's other stuff I need to do first. I was actually gearing up to go to see Trady Potato, but while I'm here, actually, where is you? I need that one. In fact, you can probably actually take a lot of the mods that I was about to go and sell, to be brutally honest. Give me those ones as well, just in case. Modify you. You can have the Fortifying Grip mod to try and keep you good for longer. All those ones as well. And I could probably even steal uh, a Bunker Buster. In fact, what's it going to take to make myself Bunker Buster? No, that's a Munker Buster. Bunker Buster. Generic Schematic, Steel, Glue, Mechanical Pass, and Springs. And what about the... um? Oh, God. What's it called again? I've already forgotten what the bloody name of the thing is. Iron Breaker. Iron Breaker mod. Iron Breaker. You take... The same stuff again. I might quickly make up a couple of those as well. Because I want to get my auger. And now that I have good defenses, go down my little mine here and get a bunch of uh, stone. Because I may as well get my advanced forges here after done making bullet tips. Just cranking out cement powder for me. Because it can't bloody hurt. Those are crafting away. It's going to take two minutes. So I will leave you guys back. No, not that one. Can't take you. That can just be sold. That's basically worthless to me. You guys get stashed away. I'll keep my auger in here, just in case I get a little bit too sell happy and sell my auger that I actually need. You can go back away. You probably have a use for something later on. In fact, can I put you? You already have one in there. Never mind. Um, I'll actually sell those ones as well. Ah, uh, no, I'll keep you. I'll keep you in case I start rolling with the um power armor boots again. But I never really put sights on things anymore. The only sight that I need is on the uh the core rifle. 
I mean, this 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 is fine. That's fine. I can see where I'm aiming. We're all good on that. So I'll go see trading. Go sell some stuff. When I come back, do a bit of mining. Get my life a bit more sorted out. And in fact, uh, you know what? Before I go, I need to quickly grab something because we need to do some naming. Trady Potato, how you doing? It's been a long and arduous journey, but I am back to see Lord Fuckwad. Welcome to Trader hey, bud. Joe's. I don't guarantee a thing. Can you guarantee that, that you I don't like you? you like, can you guarantee you might get a little bit of health at some point? You've got one health on you. You've lost a heart. How? What has happened to you? Why are you so broken? But I'm not sure I want the answer to that one because it's going to be a deep and emotional story, and I just don't care enough about you to pretend like I do. Um. Right, real quick then, I don't have any awesome sauce, so you can have that one. You can have all the muzzle brakes. You can have the serrated blades mods. All of those ones make a cheeky eight grand. I am flush with cash. Wow, that was a real pitchy. I shouldn't have even tried to do that. Who do I think I am? Um, but anyway, what do you have that might be interesting for me? I'm here ready to buy stuff. If you give me anything worth my time, I will throw cash at you. It's always been the arrangement. You just never seem to take advantage. He's still got auto shotguns in here. I feel like something has changed. Something is different now to what it used to be. Because the devil used to be that traders will restock it every second day. But he's still got gums from when I was here a week ago. Something has something has gone awry somewhere. So I guess I'm just kind of stuck with whatever I've got to get. Um, check through here. Okay, has got anything good for me in this side? No, not really. Okay, well, do you have any casings? No, just cash, which I would have sold you. All right, I think the traders the are broken. Hit you on your way. Not sure. I could buy armor crafting. That's completely worthless to me. Don't need any more jobs. I don't need to know how to make cornbread. And I don't need to go find any other traders. All right, well... <laughs> oh my god, he's come back! He's come back with a vengeance! Oh, he's like a Hydra! You can't you shoot one head, another one spawns in its place! Sorry, sorry, I don't know what mythical being you may be, but I'm getting the hell out of here! Your little house of horrors! Oh man! Well, at least I got the gratification of murdering Trader Wreck myself for a change, but now he's back bigger and better than ever, and I slightly regret my decision. The sun is starting to get a little bit more blurry. Oh, good day, love. How you doing after your morning stroll? It's the last stroll you're ever going to take because you don't have any knees anymore. And I think I'm going to go... In fact, we'll go down onto this little lip here. This little, like, drop-off here, which is kind of annoying for most things. But for what I want to do, we'll give it some nice kind of, like, cinematic brilliance. And I think... Get you out of the way, actually. What have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five. And I have... A sneaky sign. So you, what's the biggest I can make you again? Is it five meters? Yeah, the big boy. Okay. So if I get that and I go, I mean, it's kind of on the piss because the road's on the piss, but that's all right. Being on the piss is just a part of being an Australian. If I get you and I get some poles, not the center ones, the normal ones, and just start building you up in the corners like that. We'll get some nice pillars going, a nice little area for us to stand, and uh, get this erected. That looks about high enough. I'm going to want advanced rotation and just stick you kind of like that, actually, from there. Let's go like that one. You across the top like that, so it's all nice and made. I've got a nice little butt joint going on over there, and uh, go all the way along. Now, I, how wide is it, actually? One, two, three, four, five. That's about perfect. However, I'll just put the sign there. Well, it's going to look more like a, like a billboard on the side of the road rather than a gateway. I was envisioning like a gate you could drive through past under the signage, like you're heading onto the Great Ocean Road with a nice big like ornate sign over the top. But that could kind of work as well, I suppose. If I stick you like that, I mean, that'll kind of work. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Let's stick you there. You don't really actually... Oh, hang on. I put the poles on the wrong side. I've made a mistake. Mm, but it looks fine. It's fine. We'll just like... But we've come this far. Do you really want to have like things break in physics now, Josh? After everything you've done? You could have just made it look good. But no, you had to bin it. I should have just put it on top. I've got a spare sign just in case. Alright, you get out of the way. I'll put one up the top instead. There we go. Just like that. That looks good. Uh, I will actually though complete this little pole over here. To give it a nice little like, kind of framing. Up there. Can I stand on here? Yes, I can. Stick another one there. There we go. That's going to look nice and nice and good. I actually like that. All right. So this highway is going to be called, uh, all capitals please, Route 4D. 
There we go. That is the name of the road that leads to Jen and Caitlyn. Not because it's a particularly smart road. We're not playing 4D chess out there. It's going to be called Route 4D because there's two sets of double Ds at the end. And that is the cheesiest joke I'll ever make. And I have no regrets. So anyway, there we go. We've named the highway. It has its nice little route marker up there. We'll jump back in our bike and head back home again. Nice, Gaza. Nice. All right. Dumb jokes aside, let's get on with our house. We're home again. We can turn off our drawbridge, get back downstairs. So what's my plan? Actually, what I do need to do, I need to follow through for once in my life with my plan from before. Give me both of those. You can go back in my hopper, actually. Give me my... Did I leave it in the wrong box? Where the hell did... I, I know I didn't sell it. I left it behind specifically so I wouldn't. There you are. You were just hiding in the wrong spot. Modify you. Grab those ones and some extra gas as well. Nice. So the nice thing about this is that I can go down and I can get mining away with the auger down in the rock pit down here and not have to worry too much about screamers and stuff. Like I know that the, the base defenses will stand up against those very easily. And all the screamers are going to do is just die on the walls anyway. So I can kind of just have my way with the rocks down here without too much of an issue. Let's get you actually, or wear you and get everything lit, lit up nice and easily. That's a little bit red, but a little bit better. Nice. All right, I'll just like carve through this like it's some melted butter on your Vegemite toast. Get this all nice and done and start moving on the rest of my plants. I've almost got through an entire can of gas and I've also broken my auger, but I got, what, 14,000 stones that I kind of need. I really only wanted like 12,000, but having some extras is good for later on anyway, so I can call that a day. That's about the middle there. And up we go. I really never dig this down into like a cross pattern like this because I am under my house. I don't want to just start like digging out all of the support structure that is holding up all of my gubs. So that's a smart cricket like that. What I will do actually so I don't fall to my death is go like that. So when I inevitably bonk my dog and on this little slopey bit, he doesn't throw me to my death. Nailed the hole anyway. Got right up in there like like that. Went straight in, easy as, all the way up to the top. Nice. Could we put some ladders or something in there, but ah, whatever. It's fine as it is. I can now turn off my NVGs and you make me not 10,000. Just make me like 6,000 in you. That was one big stack of stone. Make another 6,000 in you. Wait, actually, wait. Get you real quick. Are we doing this with the old uh, uh, faster crafting gogs on? That's just a smarter thing to be doing. I had to repair my auger and went down to level 55, which is a bit of a shame, but just kind of is what it is. All right, with that though, I might actually leave my rocket launcher behind. I don't really need that at this very second. Um, What am I missing? You are now done with all of that. So I'll grab all of you and turn you into a coil rifle. Make all of those for me, please. So I can use that to upgrade my regular one up to level 80 and also have a couple of spares left over just to uh, repair them as time goes on. Use like a, a pre-built one to repair rather than losing levels like I just did on the auger actually. But with that all going good, I can now go and get uh, you and I can get you and get all of the ammo making materials I have in here to quickly churn out... A bunch of 762, I suppose. Where's my gunpowder? Actually, there it is there. Got so much of it from Trader Caitlin. It's not even bloody funny. I'll grab all of you. I will, I mean, my bullet tips are going to be a limiting factor, so I can make more of those later should I need to, because I probably will need some more coal rifle ammo at some point, but I'm now just really conscious of how much 762 I have, purely because that's what fuels my tier two turrets outside. So I'll turn all of that. Wow. Wow, my gunpowder was actually the limiting one? Holy shit, I just burned through all of that for almost 3,000 rounds of ammo? Well, here I was thinking I was never going to need gunpowder ever again. Turns out I was wrong. Thank God I bought all of it while I was out there. So all of you. Okay, well, things are cracking along nicely. I'll grab my wood and I'll also grab my paint and my paintbrush. Oh, actually, here's what I'm going to do. Give me you again, and give me you and you lot, because I think the thing I should be focusing on most is my defenses. I'm getting sidetracked by other things, by the shiny stuff. But I know that I need to get that half wall outside as up and at them as possible. I need my walls to be as strong as they can be, which means all the half blocks that are currently uh, hanging out over this side, they've been here this whole time, and it's time for them to disappear. I'd forgotten that I'd gone... Th oh, that was silly. 
I should have made those. That's kind of what the plan was. Um, a while ago, people were asking me what that one random wedge block over this side was supposed to be. And that was because that was where zombies kept breaking through. And so the goal eventually, as the cicadas are chirping, rubbing their wings away, and the derpo's coming through. Where are you dropping? Did, 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 did you drop? Or did you drop it all the way up behind those trees out there? I can't. Oh, you bastard. All right, that's... I'm never finding that. That's on the other side of the freaking mountain range. That's like down here somewhere. Like, if I'm going to find it, it's going to be along that road. But I'm not going to go looking for it because that's just... That's just straight up impossible. Maybe if I lived up in the volcano up there, which I still really want to go build a base up there, actually. I might have a chance at it, but probably it's not going to happen. But yeah, the goal always kind of was to replace... As the zombies, I anticipated them breaking through this outer layer, and I'd eventually replace them all with this kind of block, but they haven't managed to do that, so I guess I just don't have that option. How strong are you? And I may not even need the auger, actually. 1,200 a pop, and half of you are already pretty damaged. I'm just go through with the pickaxe for the moment and see where I can get away with it, but... Oh, nah, I'm, for the big, the big stretch over there, we're going auger. I need some more fuel for it, though, but I'll go get some. But I reckon once I'm breaking down all of these things, the screaming might show up, but the auger's definitely the way to go. While I'm doing this, because I can make an auger that's actually pretty good. What do I need? Steel mechanical parts engine. Got that. Just need some handy bars, which I can't pull off my old bike, despite it being right there. And I do not have a spare one. Alrighty, righty then. Handlebars. What do you need? So I take leather mechanical parts, short on pipes, and springs. I'm going to take 10 seconds as well. I might just make myself a new auger. So after I've broken this one, I don't have to worry too much about mod slots and stuff again. So I'll get you cracking away. You... Oh, I don't need you at all. Do I? No, I don't. That one springs all the other stuff. Mechanical parts and duct tape. All right, easy done. You and you. In fact, what do I need for the auger as well? May as well get it while I'm here. Handlebars, engine force, steel mechanical parts. That one and an engine... Sneaky engine. There we go. Get all that cooking away for me. We'll have it in no time. Oh, I've actually got all the core rifles in here as well. So I'll start cracking away on the auger. Grab all those core rifles. Quickly grab all of the mods out of you. Grab all of that. Wish it was like a hotkey to remove all mods quickly. Maybe even a hotkey to apply all mods quickly as well. Just like the easy in and out, but doesn't take up too much time. I'm just being lazy. Let's go here. Let's get a full stack of you. In. I think I need that two of them to get... Only need the one of them gets here, 80. Easy bloody peasy, just like that. So you guys can all hang out in there for a rainy day. Grab you, modify that, and stick all you guys back in. Got an extra mod slot now as well. No idea what's put in there, but just having the better core rifle is making me happy. Oh! Oh, my f- oh. Um... Oh, they weren't- Oh, there's a behemoth out there as well. They weren't there two seconds ago. All right, Josh, before you do anything, go back inside and close your freaking drawbridge. No point having a drawbridge if it's always bloody open. Then it's just a bloody pathway. I- Okay, there's a lot happening, but I need to kill that behemoth more than anything else. The rest of them are the bigger problem. I'm so glad I just upgraded my bloody core rifle then. Oh, my God. That behemoth will tear through my walls like you wouldn't bloody believe. So that needs to die first. There we go. He's gone. Now I can work on the rest of the clowns. Just sit in this little pocket here and rinse them all. Oh, that's all my ammo gone. Might need those advanced um, magazine extenders after all. Oh, it's really loud. It's really loud, but the job is getting done. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Walking out of my bloody house and seeing all of that just hanging out in the field next door, that did not instill me with any good feelings whatsoever. And proof in the pudding that I need to have my defenses in order. I don't know why you guys are hanging out there. Like, I was just out there as well. I came back inside to work on other stuff, and apparently you guys spawned in the interim. Not great shooting. There we go. Got it done. Oh, man. If you ever needed the adrenaline boost, don't jump off any buildings. Who needs base jumping or skydiving? Just come across a random zombie horde outside where you sleep at night. I think most of the horde is done, so I can open up my drawbridge again and get out. I know I can, like, hop over the walls, but that's all right. Not really that imperative when I'm just kind of cruising around and most of the horde is done. There was only... I said most of the horde is done. There was only one demo that I saw, so there is every chance. There's another demo, like, hanging out in the backyard of that fire station. So I am definitely not getting complacent. Get rid of some of these bodies, though, to try and help the frame rate as much as I can. 
anything in you, another steel axe and a hammer. I'm just scrap you because you're not worth all that much to me. Scrap you as well. One of us, nah, stuff it. Scrap all of it. Scrap bloody all of it. I don't need half this shit anymore. It's just taking up space in my inventory. Scrap you. Uh, the rest of you can come with. I hear someone. Someone gurgling. It's a screamer. You feeling bold, Josh? What did we say a couple of days ago? I was like, hey, Josh, don't deliberately pick fights with screamers. And since I sold myself that, I've done nothing but pick fights with screamers, apparently. So I'm not the sharpest tool in the cutlery drawer. When you finally make your way through that POI, let me know and I'll gladly come and tickle your nipples and get you gurgling all over the bloody place. Get you screaming. Hey, I mean, I say that. I absolutely do not have the talent nor the proficiency to do it. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you. I saw I saw them all spawn. That's fine. Gonna just run over. You just stay the fuck away from my base though. Target you with much prejudice and rinse your friends afterwards. This is fine. What I would like though, I would like on the on the core rifle, like you have like the advanced magazine extenders. I feel like now this isn't me it's like saying like, oh I know better, and you should like cater to my every whim. But I feel like I would really like the core rifle to have like an advanced sprods. So I have at the moment, I've got like the um the rotten springs. But there's advanced other mods and advanced sprods that goes twice as fast as the current fire rate. Like really spits out lead. I think it'd be really cool. Mostly, oh get out of my fucking house. No, Nance. Not. Nah, my wall. I broke me wall. God damn it. Not because like I um it'd make it so OP. In fact, it'd almost be like a good uh, a good um uh count not counter. What's the opposite of a counter? Um, com comparison. A good companion mod. That's what I'm looking for for the um for the ex advanced extended magazine mod. So you can have more ammo and you can spit it faster, but you run the risk of you know running out of ammo faster as well. So it's kind of like a good little one-two punch. And I think it's really cool to have. I don't know. This is just me just like word vomiting my thoughts. Doesn't mean shit. The Screamer Horde is done. So what I'm going to do... Uh, I do actually have some learning elixir downstairs as well. So I'm going to break down all these blocks that I can here. Just like this. Reach out and grab that. And then slowly work my way through. And then when I do all the upgrades, I'll go and get my learning elixir. So that I can get all that juicy experience and all the upgrades really easily. Like that. The order doesn't have enough reach to break down the blocks on the other side either. Which is good for me. Because otherwise, I mean, clearly... Clearly, I'm one to accidentally break, break my blocks quite often. Not even using the shotgun anymore and still getting that shotgun effect. Break you. Move along. Skill in mining increasing, which is always a nice little achievement. All the way along. And we'll finally have our base up to scratch after all this time. Oh, god damn it. I broke my auger again. Jeez, you don't last very long at all. I mean, I guess you are my tool, so that kind of makes sense. How did... What the dickens happened here? Did someone get inside my house and the turrets murdered it? I guess so. Alright, fair enough then. Well, I do have that new auger downstairs ready and waiting for me. But do I have any diamonds left over? Or like a diamond tip mod? Why don't I just steal one out of the crowbar or something to make my auger last a little bit longer? Anything I can do to last longer while I'm fucking shit up, it's probably worthwhile for me. That's the last block done there. So I can now change over to you and go... I mean, I, I, I could go and destroy the entire bottom rung of the entire base, but... It's just not really worth it. You know, the half block is still a half block. It's still like the full blocks on the other side. So not the worst thing ever. Can I really not? There's no half block rebar. Oh, I'm so excited for bloody... I'm. Oh, no, there it is there. Okay, good. I, I retract all of my previous complaints. It is actually there. No, so I was going to say, like, I'm so excited for Alpha 20 with all of the blocks being available for all of the materials because, like, the weird, like... Um, lack of uh, synchronization between some shapes are in some materials and some aren't in others. So like, that's why I had to break these blocks down because I couldn't upgrade from brick or whatever they were up to reinforced concrete. So there wasn't any connection between them, which is really annoying. So I'm glad to see that one be a thing of the past. I'll get all you upgraded. I left my, um, my learned elixir back downstairs. Do you even bother with it, I suppose? We're going to get rid of you, actually, too. To make sure you're all nice and symmetrical. Symmetricality is the most important thing, bar none. Grab my learned elixir from you. Only need the one. It lasts, like, five minutes, so not so much of a hassle to get through it all in that amount of time. And actually, I'll turn you off 
because all of the concrete underneath the drawbridge is just regular concrete as well, not reinforced. So I can get some extra, extra goodness out of that soon. Uh, get my extra XP gogs on. Use my learning elixir. Splash it all around your tonsils. Have a wonderful time. I left all my concrete inside. Oh, Josh. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you didn't need all of the time allotted to you by the learning elixir because you absolutely binned it. You great galam. I put all my stuff away. I just kind of assumed I still had it on me, but I didn't because I'm a clown. Oh, it's embarrassing. All right. Well, I thought I had three minutes. Now I will have three minutes. How are you such a mop? God, you'd think... <laughs> this is one of those times when I realized that I could have absolutely... What was that? I don't know. I could have absolutely just like cut that out and pretended like it didn't happen and like, oh no, you know, I don't make mistakes, but that's just not what it's about. That's what, not what this is all about. <laughs> so, so dumb. So dumb. Imagine how, like, if I cut out all the muppetry in these videos, there would be the intro and the outro. And as I said to someone the other day, well, sometimes I've been to the outro, like yesterday. I've been outros, I've been intros. Sometimes it wouldn't even be a bloody video. Sometimes you're just gonna roll with it. You're just gonna accept the fact that you're a pelican and just put a big fish in your gob. Ah, oh, it's just too funny. What an absolute muff. God damn it. I did all my upgrading and as tempting as it is to turn this cobble up here into concrete, I kind of like the aesthetic of having the different uh, materials. I'm actually going to leave it like that. Although what I am going to do, that's all the upgrading done. Only took me like a minute anyway. Do I still have my, I never grabbed my paintbrush. I'll probably go inside and get that. I'm going to paint the, um, the, the drawbridge, the force field under the drawbridge to be red just because I like the aesthetic. I just like the aesthetic of having like the red force field for whatever I do. I just like how it looks. And it's my base, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, I need, that's all the paint that I got, but I do need you. Come with me, please. All gonna just hang out there for a little bit. I took the diamond uh, tip blade mod off the um, off the shovel because let's be honest, how often am I using the shovel? If I need to, I can just change it over later on. So now I have you. And I also need to remember to repair the hole in the wall that I shot myself. because. Just, oh man, no, and I should need you to be off. I need to access underneath the drawbridge and not get spanked into bloody Hades realm. I'm gonna grab the red metal because it's a bit more bright and vibrant than the, um, than the concrete red is. Go all along like that. What I wouldn't give, like I know that the, the dev paintbrush has like the, um, the paint all sides of a block feature uh, as part of it, but I wish I had that for the regular one as well. Just make it so much easier to get through and paint all like the the weird sides of the blocks because the hitboxes are always so kind of iffy. Sometimes you can't paint the side that you want to. It doesn't really work for you. You have to go through like this and get every last little patch of it as well all the way like that. Just a bit more tedious. I'd like those little time saving things, but can't have everything these days. It's a bit of a shame, but you make do with what you get given. There we go. That looks good. Although I missed that one along there, did I? Yes, I did. Get you painted up as well. It's nice knowing as well that even when the concrete dries, it will maintain its red paint and not turn into the regular reinforced texture. I should check though. You have a full lot of ammo. I don't think I've loaded all of my Mark II turrets with ammo. Or did I go back and do that? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Let's check you. No, that's the wrong turret. I want the top one. Yeah, see, you don't have any in you. I've got more crafting downstairs, but I'm definitely going to need to go in and make sure that it's all up to par before too long. Why am I so slow as well? I feel like I'm moving heck and bloody slowly these days. I used to be a speedy boy. I used to move with the pace of the wind, and now I'm shuffling my feet. I'm not a fan. So thankfully, I didn't actually break my window here. What block did you use to be, though? I can't copy the block shape. Uh, or can I do it on this side, maybe? You. There we go. Copy shape. Occasionally, if it's one of the blocks that's in, like, here, like, it's already a full block like that, you can copy the block with the frames. I need to go like that. I need to go on face, I think, and stick you there. Lovely dovely. Uh, get you. Copy that texture. I still need to paint the inside, but at least I've undone the damage that I did for myself. All right. Cool bananas. Well, I guess with that, though... I feel like I'm sprinting crap. Why am I so slow? I'm wearing my speedy boy boots. Why am I so slow though? I want to be, I want to be fast. I want to be speedy Gonzalez. I want to move around like you wouldn't be able to see me like bloody roadrunner. 
I can't do it. I don't know why I'm slowed down so much. It's not going well. I think the best place to start with my Renos is going to be the outside. I'll get my frames back. Get some nice scaffolding going for me. Up to there, up to there. And repair you all the way up and paint you to match. Nice. Oh, and fall down back to the bottom again. If I work on like each side of the house, like I'll do this one first. I'll replace those windows and just go like side by side. That should work out the best for me, I think, I assume. My frame rate is awful though. Is there a hold out here somewhere? Or is it just, I feel like the game is just starting to struggle. I've done so much with this game now. <gasps> My railings are gone. That's bloody rude. I'll get a new one though. Could always do the repairs as we go. But yeah, I feel like I've done so much in this game now that it's just struggling to keep up. It's just not quite what it used to be. It's just uh, lagging a bit behind. While I'm here, I'm just going to check the top window as well. I mean, you're looking pretty good, actually. Do you have panes that are still set? Oh, no, because I can't really see it from here because it looks... Got, like, the sun reflecting on it. But, no, that is, like... That's the gross window. That's the one that has, like, the mud all over the panes. That's why it's not clear and all gammy. So we'll get rid of you. We'll replace the sun better. Still to clear out all the attic as well, but... At least now I know that everything on this side of the house is primed and ready for it. Down we go. If I don't just like sneak on through them. Couple window frames fell and broke, but that's all right. Clear you up. Nice. Okay. And we can start moving through the rest of the house to see what else needs to be broken down. Like all these cabinets and stuff. All the broken ones. They need to go soon. Everything needs to be nice and spick and span. Need some lighting in here as well. Oh, are you... There's still loot in this place? I've been living here for three months and never found the loot. That's bang average, Josh. You should know better. You should know to find all these things. Sometimes you just them up it, apparently. Oh, we know that already. There's so many, like... Ooh, that's a little bit weird. There's so many, like, little things like this with just, like, a tile missing, which means I have to break the whole block and replace it with a proper one again, which just takes a little bit more time than I'd like it to. Grab you. Paint you like that. Paint you to match as well. And probably one on the outside. Nope, that's the wrong texture. That one. There we go. Alright, how's the bathroom looking now? The shower screens are all intact, which is good. There's also... Oh, okay, see? It's just rude. Having bloody... I've got to replace the whole block just to fix your shit. Can't, like, reskin you to be a better shape or, like, one that doesn't have the, the missing tiles. Even if I repaint it, it still won't work. There we go. You and you and you. Gonna have to upgrade and repaint it from the bottom as well. It's a bit of a shame, but it's all worth it just to make it look nice and lovely. Also, I can actually make like a fresh wooden desk as well. Just in the workbench downstairs. What? Uh, I know your hitboxes are bullshit sometimes, game, but that's taken a little bit too far. I want to get rid of... There we go. Get rid of you. Now I have to remake you and repaint you as well. Silly, but that's alright. I can replace the desk, which is good. That's a rubbish chair. I'll get you a new chair as well. This window still has its panes in. That's looking good. What else is around up here? You. Could have done you from the outside, but it's easy to do it from here. I'll grab you. Repaint that. That's on the piss, so you can piss off. What else are we missing? That's all good. That's all good. This room's nice and clear. That's all right. We're getting there. We're making progress slowly but surely. Eventually, this house will be very livable. Need to get rid of this bathtub as well. Whoever took a bath in there last clearly didn't have a very good time doing it, or they were bathing in some pretty questionable shit. Uh, so, make a desk. Can I make a bathtub as well? No. Okay. However, like this area up here is kind of where I wouldn't mind making myself a bit of a home. Like this could be like where all my crafting stations and stuff go. The first floor, oh, that needs to be repaired. The first floor is fine for what it is, but it is like, it's too nice as it is. It's got like the fireplace and stuff and the dining room and the kitchen. The kitchen's usable, but the rest of that area, I don't want to break down to be functional. I want it to be nice. If I have guests over, you know, if Jen comes around, I'm going to want her to enjoy her time here and not be saddled with all of the extra garbage. I think if I go like this, repair you, then hit you again. Please don't break. Yes, good. Then I can upgrade you back to be nice and full. Lovely. All the doors are looking nice and schmick. Yeah, now nah, good. All right. So all I need to do now is just clear out the attic and then figure out what I'm going to do with these rooms to make it more... Oh, I can actually break down all of this. Rather than making that new desk, I can just break down all of this garbage, get rid of the wall. What's in between here? No, oh, the bathroom. But it's the guest bathroom because I have my ensuite through there. 
But I don't, want, I don't like people. I don't want guests. I just want Jen, and Jen can use my ensuite. Look, we're gonna have his and hers uh, sink as well. Yeah, now nah, we can get rid of the other bathroom. That's fine. This is really annoying me. Can I actually? Can I go like this? Can I get? No, that's the wrong one. Can I? I'm holding E, not R. Come on, fingers. Can I paint you? Yes, there we go. That looks way better. If you guys in here is painted than good. All right, nice and lovely. Well, I suppose. In fact, there we go. Look, there we go. That's the guest bathroom. They have this area, the scungy one on the on the bottom floor. There's gonna be no guest bedrooms anyway. So if they're sleeping on the couch, then there's something nice and easy for them to access. So I guess I need to go down and start moving some stuff upstairs. We've got to that point. I think we're about ready. You. But I'll leave some of this extra garbage in the box. I need to make some storage, actually, before I get too carried away. I've got some wood. I need nails, which will be in here somewhere. There you are. Grab you. And before I uh, pick up all this stuff, let's go here and go lockable storage. Wait, why? Oh, claw hammer. It goes in this one. Okay. Lockable storage cabinet. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I can only make seven. Well, I'm short on nails. See, I like having, I do, as claustrophobic as it is, I like my little cupboard of storage over here. Everything has its place and it's kind of nice. Stuff it. Let's stuff it. What else am I going to use nails for? Get you cracking along. That'll be fine. So then I have some storage upstairs to actually put things in. But in the meantime, I'll put this stuff away, actually, and start picking up my workstations and move them upstairs. Actually, wait, wait, what am I doing? I can't take the workstations. I mean, half of them are still crafting and stuff. Like, they're still burning away for, for some ammo. You're still cooking away cement. Like, half of them are still busy. So that's going to have to wait a little bit. I don't even have... This is what's dumb about it. I don't actually have the room... Why am I so slow? It's annoying me how slow I am now. I've definitely slowed down from what I once was. Is there, like... Can I spend a skill point on speed? I just want to be a fast boy again. I feel like I'm really letting myself down here. Just don't, don't have the pace that I once did. And what I need to do... That was still untouched, actually. I need to go through and empty out these rooms so that I have the room to place all my workstations. I can break you down, your good electrical parts. There's no point breaking them down now if I don't have a room to move them into. Getting these shower screens out of the way. Got a nice big doorway going through here. Very reminiscent of my base actually in the original Darkness Falls playthrough. Empty nightstand, you can go. What else is in here actually? Just some bookshelves that can all go as well. I mean, I don't know how these doorways are going to stay here or not. Because at the moment, like, it's kind of nice. But I, I, I don't think... Oh, that's actually three wide. That'd be a good spot for a chemistry station, actually, in front of the window. I suppose I could get rid of the door and put something there as well. Like, I might end up getting rid of these arches. But at the moment, we'll see what kind of space I actually need. And that can be... I have to repaint these rooms as well to kind of match. But this could be where everything goes, all my crafting stuff. And then on this side... I'll turn, um, I'll turn that into a nice little thoroughfare as well. Get rid of you. There we go. And this could be where I can set up shop. I get another end table, stick you there. I'd love to be able to turn them on so the light actually comes through. But I can do that with a lantern. That's good. Got my ensuite. His and hers for Jen and me. And that'll be good. That'll be lovely. And then that's all of the top floor done except for up here so there's still the attic to be worked on but i might just go through now with my crowbar and make mincemeat of everything up here my original storage from way back when break you down as well but once this is all cleared out i think we're pretty good to go look at that everything's gone everything's good no idea what i'm gonna do with this space i'll put in some new windows but not sure what to do with the attic oh there's another light bulb there i'll grab you for some extra parts as well maybe this is where i'll keep my evil twin brother uh brother just feeding buckets of fish heads every now and again to placate him a bit while he looks at us through the vents but i think that's about as good to go as we're gonna get I think tomorrow we'll go through and we'll work on this area here, get all our workstations upstairs and sort it out. Just some windows and things left to go. Plus some electrical lights and stuff wouldn't be a bad shout either, but I think that's as good as we're going to get. So I'll just sit here, enjoy the view in front of the fire where I quite often start and end my days. It's getting bloody lovely though. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? Nah, bloody nah, not having it. No, I spent way too long rebuilding my life through here. If you to come through and ruin my uh, ruin my hard work, you can get repainted as well. Forgot about you before, but there you go. Nice. Need to uh, get some storage boxes, like the furniture boxes, and make those bookshelves. Apparently, that's where those live. But that is going to have to wait until another episode. Things are kicking on. 
We're doing well. Our house is really getting into ship tip ship top ship top shape. Our oh, tip top shape is what I was trying to say. Apparently, ships got involved in there somehow. I don't know how, but I'll have to come back and continue to make my base into ship shop shape in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons, the Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure to the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a cool one.